Okay, stock charts and trade ideas. I'm gonna go through the various stock market indices. We're gonna use technical analysis to figure out what, where things are likely going. Again, I don't know where the markets are going. Nobody does. We just know where what the charts are telling us and where the probabilities lie. And that's really all about what trading's all about. So we're gonna go through that, look at some various trade ideas. Uh, we'll look at gold and we'll cover uh, soybeans. That one looks, looks interesting. Okay, starting out with triple Qs, guys. Okay, on the, on the daily time frame, we have a clear downtrend and a break of, we have a break of this major downtrend right here. This is this is the daily time frame right there. So we had a clear uptrend line. We broke trend recently. I think we're probably due for a bounce. Uh, you know, markets don't go straight down. Uh, they 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 kind of ride the slope of hope. But again, I'm a little bit undetermined at this moment in time where we're going to go. So looking at the hourly chart, you can see we have a bullish divergence that has been building now on the hourly chart. So you'll see the momentum, how it's been moving up. And we made a new lower low right here, which was a higher low in momentum. And we have a slight downtrend line and a breakout. We have a breakout, a back test. We, we wanna see this breakout really hold if this is gonna get that bounce. So uh, I think it makes sense to kind of lighten up whatever kind of position, at least in, that's what I'm doing. Uh, locking in a lot of the profit that we made from yesterday and just lightening up. And if we get a bounce, likely we're gonna bounce up to, you know, probably this 377.80 area. That's kind of a former reaction level. So I'd say right up in there is likely where the bounce will end. Potentially all the way up to this uh, 379.28 area. Okay, after that bounce, I would likely look to flip short again for a resumption of the downtrend. Just going back to the daily chart, again, we have a broken trend. So I'm now looking at to sell the rip, looking at areas to uh, you know continue to add to shorts or you know establish new shorts. And again, on the weekly chart on triple Qs, just I want to kind of point it out. We still have this big bearish engulfing candle right here that so far has been the top. All right, so I pointed this out back you know, at this time that this could be a potential top. And so far it has been the top. We've corrected from that high, from the all time high, oh, about 10% now. So 10% correction, maybe we bounce and then continue the, the drop uh, lower. You know, I'm a little undecided on which way we go next, at least in the short term. Longer term, I think we continue lower. Here's your NASDAQ futures NQ. And again, it just cleanly shows the break of the longer term trend. So there was your trend right there. We broke, but we could bounce and then continue to sell off. The point is the trend's been broken. It's sell the rip now. And then the other thing I want to point out is the SPY futures. This is likely why I think we might get a bounce. And if you want to wait for the next sell signal, you probably want to see the SPY futures break. But we've got this trend line on ES. See the support line we've been holding? And we are right there now holding supports. We don't have a sell signal on the SPY futures. We have it on the NASDAQ futures. We have it on the NASDAQ. We don't have it on the SPY futures. And it's not really there on the SPY completely either. On the SPY, you've got this uptrend line marked in red. See all the support lines? And we're still kind of above that. So the next major sell signal, probably going to come when we get the uh, breakdown in the SPY. But that means maybe we bounce here in the queues and then in the future we'll break uh, the SPY and uh, and then sell down in the queues again. So to be clear, I think that, you know, short term, I think there could be a bounce in the queues. SPY is likely going to just kind of hang out, maybe bounce a little. And then we'll see the queues sell off again. And then the SPY will break this trend line on the next sell off in the queues. All right. That's pretty much all I've got. And then IWM starting to break down um, again we still have this kind of benefit of the doubt line right here at about 205 we had one reaction right there and we're kind of holding in that area right now so if that goes i think it's pretty much straight down to uh, 193 likely get a small reaction there and then straight down to this 169.50 area um, that's what i'm watching on that one okay gold here's gold bullion not much today, just kind of 
you know, it's just kind of taking a breather today. Gold had a pretty big day yesterday. The miners had a huge day. So we're just kind of taking a breather. The trend line to watch is really, I think, right here. We've got two reactions. They're pretty distinct reactions, though. One there and then one here. A break above that. And I don't see anything holding gold back from continuing to move higher. So that's what I'd be looking for. Right now, the level is about 1856. So I think we will trade up there. Uh, maybe we flag here for a little bit, a couple days, kind of flag out and then trade up. And then we'll be looking for that breakout. Until we see that, you know, that's really, that's the bigger picture stuff that I have on gold. Okay, if gold is going to continue to rally, it's likely going to do it on the breakdown in the dollar. The dollar had a false breakdown recently. So on the daily chart, this is the trend line I'm watching. This comes off of your May, your May, late May 21 time frame. And you can see we have support here, here, support here. And then recently we did break. That was a sell signal, but it was a false breakdown. They snapped it right back and recovered it. So that's a bear trap as of right now. So in order to see gold continue to rally in any meaningful way, we would want to see the dollar likely break. The next breakdown is probably going to be the real deal since we've already had one false breakdown. Uh, the next one's likely going to be the real deal. But we're still holding trend as of right now and moving higher. There is the potential, and I've noticed it on my chart, to move all the way up to this 99 area. That's kind of your longer term time frame. So going all the way back to 2011, we have a, a long bull market you know, in the dollar. And we broke that, you know, we broke that back in 2020 during the COVID crash. So that's been broken. I think the dollar is likely going to move lower, but we could run up and back test that trend line uh, and then break down. So just potentials to watch for. As of right now, the dollar needs to break this daily trend line that I have marked out right there. Okay, Roku looks like it's probably along here. It's a little bit suspect, but I want to point out what I'm seeing. On the daily chart, we've got bullish divergence. So you'll see here that we have the momentum moving higher, not fully confirmed. So ideally, we'd see this PPO here start to do a crossover like that to help confirm that bullish divergence. The RSI is starting to turn up. So we're starting to confirm that, but it's not fully confirmed. Um, we also have a key level of support, which is about 169.67. As I roll out, you can see that's your former area of major resistance. We had a lot of tags that we finally broke out and we've come down to that level. So maybe what this wants to do is kind of chop through here a little bit, get, you know, and uh, do a lot of fake outs. But it looks like it has recovered that level. We had a, a three days of breaking down and it wasn't able to, you know, it kind of quit selling off, even though the market was selling off pretty heavy. This quit selling off and then it's now recovered that trend line. The day's not over yet. Let's see where this day closes. If we close right there at that level, it's going to keep everyone guessing and not going to be a definitive recovery of that support line. So things to watch for there. Now, if you can recover it, then I would look for us to move up to 201.96 and 236.93 as potential uh, levels of resistance. Okay, BABA continues to look good up 4% today. So again, we had this level of, uh, this kind of pivot level, 130.30. We, we broke out. Our buy signal came back here on, on the uh, January 6th. So we're continuing to uptrend. You can see we rally and we're continuing to move higher. So my target still stands up here at this 161.37 area. I don't see any indication that that's not going to play out. So we just got to give it some time. But it is looking good. This had bullish divergence down here as we were making new lows and we broke out. So bullish on this one that continues to look good. Okay, C's. C World still looks like it's on a sell signal. Again, we had we had this trend line here on the daily chart. We were walking up that big negative divergence building. And we got a sell signal or a break of trend line basically right there a couple days ago. Uh, just flagging out a little bit, but likely we're going to continue to the downside. So I don't see any indication that this isn't going lower. 46.50 is our first level of kind of major support that I'm looking for. And this real estate sector looks like a good short as well. IYR. So again, clear uptrend line. Look at all the reactions on this one. 
We broke trend the other day, so here's your breakdown. Clean sell signal, a little bit of an inside day today, just counter trend rally, but ultimately I don't see any indication that we're not gonna continue to sell down. So no real support till we get, you know, you've got some support right here. I could probably mark that one out. Um, oh, let's grab the right tool. Plenty of support right there. That This will be our first level of support uh, right there. And that's about 105.40. But I think we're heading down there. We'll probably get a, a little small bounce or reaction there and then continue lower. And LLY, which is Eli Lilly. This is on a sell signal, so I think we're heading lower on this one. You can see on the daily chart, clear uptrend line, three reactions. We broke, so we got a sell signal. And we're just kind of flagging out. All right, so I think we just continue down level of support on this one first level is about 240 and you can see we had you know a couple reactions there's a reaction at that level so i think that's our first level of support not much you know we got to get through that once you break through that we should head right down to 218.75 uh to 220 area all right that'll be our next level of support so that's what i'm looking for on that one looking for continued downside and that's really all I have, guys. Oh, I wanted to cover soybeans real quick. Uh, let me look at that one. All right, so soybeans looks like it's continuing this uptrend. So you can see we my levels, we've been getting reactions and pullbacks at these levels. Pullback didn't quite get there to that 2266. The buyer stepped in and boom, rallied. Broke above that uh, 2350 area. And, you know, looks like we're kind of holding near the highs so as far as I can tell, soybeans is going to continue to run higher up to 24.85, which is the, the recent high here. And then we'll probably get a breakout above that and a continuation to the upside in soybeans. Okay, that's all I have. In general, I'm kind of lightening up uh, on some of my positions today. And yesterday I lightened up on, a, took some profit. And I'm just kind of waiting to see how the dust settles before, uh, you know, getting a better read on where we had in the short term. Okay, I think we could bounce here, but we could break down too. You know, in, when you're in a pretty bearish setup, just when things look like they can bounce is usually when they start to sell down again. So that is possible. All right, guys, leave me a thumbs up. Check out the stock market technical analysis course that I put together to teach you all these concepts. It's about four to five hours of uh, training in that course, link in the description below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.